Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title, this is another short and this is my just finished Way of Kings. And here are my quick thoughts. Um, not going to be much. I'll have a full review uh, with better editing and stuff uh, later, either tomorrow or this coming week. And this is just my just finished thoughts. This book was crazy, honestly. Uh, the ending was really where I fell in love with this book, honestly. Uh, I agree to many people this is the best introduction to a fantasy series I've ever read. Uh, some of my thoughts might be uh, hyperbole a bit, just just a tiny bit, uh, just because I just finished it. You know, it, it's like that out of the movie theater experience. You just had a good experience and you just want to hype about it before. <laughs> um, before you uh, simmer it after a few days. So this I'll just let this simmer for a few days. And then I'll put out my review. Uh, but yeah. Just finished. And I feel really good. This was an amazing book. Uh, and the ending was really where it really picked up. And I loved it. Um, I, it the first 400, 500 pages were slow. That's why I picked it up uh, almost a year ago. And it's just... it it's It's slow. But it's... Honestly, all worth it in the end. The last 100 pages are amazing. Uh, yeah, so the, f the three characters I just want to talk about quickly are uh, Kaladin, obviously. I love his character development. His character development is honestly amazing in this book. And he's really the biggest standout that I just can't wait to see what happens to him in the future. Now that, uh, spoiler free, where he is now. Uh, Dalinar is honestly not much really happened, like, character de development-wise. Uh, like, yeah, nothing really that comes to mind, uh, changed throughout the book. He's still, uh, he he's king. Just try to keep it spoiler free. Um, he did learn a few things, uh, but his, his, like, I felt like his attitude is still the same. Some of it kind of change but his attitude towards life and stuff like that is still the same shalon on the other hand is <sighs> it's hard to keep the spoiler free that's i'll have some spoilers in my review but this will just be quick spoiler free shalon is is interesting uh I, i'm just gonna keep my thoughts about her till uh review just know my thoughts are mostly positive but yeah uh overall love this book very, very, very good. I uh, won't be getting into the second book right away. Need something lighter, like, um, uh, let me get it quickly. Need something lighter, like Tom Sawyer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, probably read that, then maybe Dune or something, and then get to the second book. But, uh, don't quote me on it, and, um, maybe it'll be another year till, uh, till I review that one. Hopefully not, though, because... Since I love this so much, I really want to get to the second one. People say Words of Radiance is really good, so can't wait to read that one. And overall, it's just, it's slow at the beginning, but the end is what makes it one of the best fantasy books of all time. The ending is just, it's, it resolves a lot of things, it gives a lot of mysteries. The epilogue is honestly really interesting. Um, yeah, just, I'm trying to keep it spoiler free, but obviously you can see it's hard. Uh, I, I love this book. It's, I need to simmer, let it simmer for a few days, but it, it probably will be top 10 favorite books of all time. Um, uh, but yeah, thanks for listening. This has been my quick, just finished review of Brandon Sanderson's Way of Kings. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.